In this video, you're going to learn how to graph parabolas in the vertex form. So what exactly is the vertex form? Well, when it's in this form right here, y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, the vertex is at h comma k. And you just want to remember that the number that's grouped with the x, it has like the opposite effect on the graph. So if it's x plus 7, you'd actually be going left 7. If it was x minus 7, that'd be like a positive 7 to the right. The axis of symmetry goes through this x coordinate of the vertex. It's going to be the equation x equals h. Remember, x equals lines are vertical lines. And then if the a value here is positive, it tells us the parabola is opening up. And if the a value is negative, it tells us it's opening down. So let's go through the three examples. You'll get a feel for how to do this. So for the first example, we've got y equals 4 times x minus 1 squared minus 2. So where is the vertex? Well, remember that number grouped with the x has the opposite effect. So the minus 1 is actually going to shift the graph right 1. The minus 2 is going to shift it down 2. So that's going to be our vertex right there at 1, negative 2. Now I like to make a table, put the vertex in the middle of the table, because the parabola is symmetric about the vertex and symmetric about this um, line of symmetry that goes through the uh, x-coordinate of the vertex. So if you fold it over, the graph will match to itself. So if we pick some points on either side, 0 and 2, that's like 1 above, 1 below, or if I add 2, this is 3, and subtract 2, this is negative 1, we can get some additional points on our graph. So let's go ahead and put in 0. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. Times 4 is 4. Minus 2 is 2. So this would also be 2, since it's symmetric. And if we put, let's say, negative 1 in, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2, and negative 2 squared is 4, 4 times 4 is 16, minus 2 is 14. Now remember to follow the PEMDAS, the parentheses, exponents, then multiplication. So you want to do that order of operations. Now if we plot these points, let's see, 0, 2 is right here. If I reflect that over the line of symmetry. Uh, negative 1, 14 is way up here, a little bit off our graph. So for this one, let's just go ahead and graph these three points. Remember, the parabola is kind of like a U-shaped graph. Okay, it doesn't have a sh sharp corner like an absolute value. It's more of a rounded U. And your teacher will probably ask you some questions like, does this graph have a maximum or a minimum? Well, you can see it has a low value, like a low point, but not a high point because it keeps going up. So this one we would say has a minimum of negative 2. That's how low it goes. What's the domain? Well, it's all real numbers. It's going to the right and the left forever and ever. What's the range? What can the y values be? Well, the lowest it goes is negative 2 or higher. So we could say our range is y is greater than or equal to negative 2. Uh, now, does this graph, where is it increasing and decreasing? So increasing, you can see it's like reading from left to right like a book. It's increasing when you're to the right of 1. So when x is greater than 1, it's increasing. Where is it decreasing? meaning where is it going down to the right, kind of like a negative slope. That's when you're to the left of 1. So that's when x is less than 1. And you got it. So let's take a look at uh, number 2 now. So where do you think the vertex is on number 2? <clears throat> now remember, the one group with the x has the opposite effect. So the plus 3 is actually going to shift this graph left 3. And that's going to be where our axis of symmetry is. So x equals negative 3 is our axis of symmetry. Now, if we, this 2 is going to shift the graph up 2. So left 3, up 2, this is our vertex right here. And I like to put that vertex in the middle of my table. Let's pick some points on either side. Say, for example, negative 4 and negative 2, or negative 5 and negative 1. And let's see what we get. So if we plug in negative 4, plus 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. Times a negative is negative 1. Plus 2 is 1. Make sure to follow the order of operations. So this would also be 1. And if we plug in, let's say, negative 1, negative 1 plus 3 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 times a negative 1 is negative 4, plus 2 is negative 2. So these are both negative 2. Now, let's go ahead and plot these. So negative 4, 1 would be right here. So it's the same on both sides. And negative 5, negative 2 would be right here, same on both sides. Now, if you want to find the y-intercept, all you have to do is put 0 in for x. So that'll be where it crosses the y-axis. And so you can see here, this is a, a basic sketch of our parabola. Your teacher might ask you, uh, what's the equation of the axis of symmetry? That's x equals negative 3. Does the graph have a maximum or a minimum? 
This graph has a high point, a maximum. So the maximum would be at the y coordinate of the vertex, so maximum of 2. Uh, what's the domain in the range? Well, we said the domain's all real numbers because it goes to the left and the right forever and ever. But the range would be the y values are less than or equal to 2. So let's write that down. And then where is the graph increasing and decreasing? So increasing, we think about reading from left to right. See, it's going up, up, up. It has a, kind of almost like a positive slope there when x is to the left of negative 3. So when x is less than negative 3. And where is it decreasing? Uh, meaning going down to the right, that's when x is to the right of negative 3 or greater than negative 3. And let's take a look at one last example. So for example number 3, where is the vertex on this one? Well, on this one, you can see that there's an h value, but no k value. So what that tells us is this graph is being shifted, not positive 2, but to the left, negative 2. So that's going to be our axis of symmetry right here. That x equals negative 2. That's also the x-coordinate of our vertex. But because there's not a k value, that means that k is equal to 0. So our vertex is going to be right here at negative 2, 0. And if we pick some points on either side, like negative 3 and negative 1, or 0 and negative 4, let's see what we get. So negative 1 plus 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. Times negative 1 half is negative 1 half. So it'll be the same on both sides. And if we put 0 in, 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4. Times a negative half is negative 2. So these are both negative 2. So let's see if we graph this. Negative 3 negative a half, and negative 4, negative 2. So you can see this graph is opening down, which we knew because the a was negative. The 1 half is like a vertical shrink. That's what's making the graph wider. Uh, the domain is going to be all real numbers. The range is going to be y is less than or equal to 0. And our axis of symmetry said x is equal to negative 2. Uh, this has a maximum, see how it's opening down, it has a high point, and that high point is going to be at 0, so the maximum is 0. Where is the graph increasing? Well, it's increasing when you're to the left of negative 2. And where is it decreasing? Now when, that's when you're to the right, or greater than negative 2. And that pretty much sums it up. So, great job. If you want to see more examples about how to graph uh, parabolas, not just in the vertex form, but also in the standard form, in the intercept form, etc. Follow me to a comprehensive video I did about graphing parabolas right there, and we'll get some more practice. I'll see you in that video.